This is a standard home use air fryer. You're likely familiar with it if you have kids or live a busy lifestyle where you need to be able to make food on the go. It's a very convenient way to quickly prepare dishes. And today we're going to answer the question if we can take this and replace it with this. Air frying is something that typically you want to use when you're on the go. You need something quick to make. What I'm going to show you today is a quick and easy uh, sockeye salmon street taco. Let's take a look at what we've got. Okay, so let me show you uh, what I'm working with today. Obviously, convenience is the word that comes to mind when you talk about an air fryer. So when I think convenience, I think I'm on the go. I want something quick. I think street tacos. So today I'm going to make sockeye salmon street tacos. So what I've got is I've got our sockeye salmon. And let me tell you a little bit about the cuts that I chose to use for the air fryer. The first one over here you can see is a tailpiece. And the tailpieces are typically thinner, so they're going to cook better and quicker in the air fryer. This other piece is a middle piece, but it's, it's a little bit thinner than what you would probably want for a dinner portion. You'd want your dinner portion to be a little bit thicker as you cut it off of the filet or choose it uh, as a portion. So this smaller portion is something that I would use because I can easily cut that up and use it as uh, the taco inside the taco. So I've got my salmon there. I've also got my, of course, uh, street taco tortillas. Um, that will go great. You can use any type of tortilla though. If you want to do a burrito, you want to do a flour. I've got, of course, staple salt and pepper. I'm going to use some of this wild for salmon seasoning. Um, everybody's palate's a little bit different and the way that you taste these spices can always be a little bit different. Uh, this one to me really does kind of go with like a southwest style meal so i'm going to use that on my uh, portions of course some olive oil to coat the salmon in what i'm going to use on my taco is over the weekend my wife had made this dill pickle spread that we were using in with some tuna cakes but I think it'll be good if I'm just going to coat a little bit that, of that on the tortilla to put with the sockeye, sprinkle a little bit of uh, cheese, maybe some lettuce, and uh, go from there. But you can really use any type of taco sauce or something like that that you'd like that just to whatever your taste uh, prefers. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my salmon portion. I'm just going to take a little bit of olive oil, put on the uh, portions. Rub it in, gonna to try to keep some of that moisture in throughout the air fryer. Obviously, if you've ever air fried before, you know that um, the air fryer itself can suck a lot of moisture out of uh, protein and meat when you're in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there just to, to cover that those portions that way. From there, I'm going to take a little bit of my wild for salmon seasoning. I'm gonna put some of that on there. So I'm going to coat some of that on there and then of course I'm going to do my salt and pepper to taste ground pepper like Captain Steve. I, uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, pepper on anything so I'll probably put a little bit more than most. And then what I'm going to want to do next is I'm going to go ahead and preheat my air fryer. You're gonna want your air fryer set on about 400 degrees and we're gonna cook the sockeye for about eight minutes. Although you're gonna to wanna to check it because you do not want to overcook it and dry it out. One quick tip on the air fryer when you put the sockeye salmon in, you don't wanna overcrowd the air fryer with too many portions. So if you're doing this for a larger group or you wanna do it for a family uh, meal or lunch, uh, just make sure you're cooking probably like two portions at a time max, depending on the size of your air fryer. Okay, so preheated. And there are my two portions going in the air fryer. Again, we'll want that to cook for about eight minutes, but I'm going to use my sous chef to keep track of time for me. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. 
While that sockeye is cooking in the air fryer, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my um, tortillas. So uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the dill pickle bread. Nothing fancy here. Again, these are street tacos. So um, it's just quick and dirty. So there we go. My two portions air fried. Um, I did take the thinner portion out about two minutes before the thicker piece. Um, just didn't want to overcook it and it was so thin that I knew it was going to cook a little quicker. So I took that out about two minutes beforehand, but we were right about eight minutes, about six, between six to eight minutes um, for both of these portions there. So let's go ahead and get it plated and see how it tastes. One thing I like to do for tacos, and I do this with all the fish that I use for tacos, even salmon, is I like to chunk the fish up kind of in bigger uh, pieces. Um, I just feel like you get a more flavorful bite in your taco. Let's go. Okay, so they look delicious. Let's taste them. Those are awesome. The wild for salmon spice and the black pepper kind of just give it a, just enough of a kick um, to kind of be what you would expect from like a, like a taco. These are delicious. If you're gonna wanna do a quick lunch, like this is a no brainer. So now I think I'm gonna go open myself up a sockeye salmon taco truck. 